Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 15th of 2023 well, it is titled M1, the Crab Nebula from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Crab Nebula. And it is also listed as M1, which was actually the first object in Charles Messier's catalog of objects that were not individual stars and that could be confused with perhaps a comet through a small telescope. Now we know now that M1 is actually a supernova remnant. And in fact, it was a supernova that was seen to explode here on Earth nearly a thousand years ago. So records from 1054 show uh, the appearance of a new star in the constellation of Taurus, very bright and visible during the day. So that a supernova explosion is so immensely powerful that the star, even though it is at larger distances, then could be still seen here on Earth during the day when even the brightest stars are invisible. Now what happens is this is the massive star at the end of its life and it builds up a core of iron. Now iron is the most tightly bound element so there is no way for the star to get energy by fusing iron atoms together. Normally you can fuse lighter atoms into heavier atoms to gain energy through nuclear fusion. However, once you get to iron, there is no more energy to be had and trying to fuse iron actually takes energy and causes the star to collapse completely imploding and then finally exploding back outward expelling much of the star back out into space in the nebula that we see here today. The compact core is left behind uh, as what we call a neutron star, where all of the electrons in the atoms have been crushed into the nucleus, making it essentially a gigantic ball of neutrons, something incredibly dense with the mass of stars, but the mass of a star, but the size only of a small city. So something only a few kilometers across. They also are often known as pulsars and pulsars are when the neutron star happens to be oriented correctly toward Earth and is young enough to still be spinning rapidly that beams of material may cross Earth's line of sight. And that is how the first pulsar was discovered through radio emission back in the 1960s, when it was seen that there were very regular pulses a little over every once every second. Here in the crab pulsar rotates 30 times per second and most things cannot begin to rotate that fast. If you tried to rotate Earth or our sun 30 times a second, they would rip themselves apart due to the immense forces from that rotation. However, the neutron star is so dense that it can actually hold itself together even rotating at that very rapid rate. So here again we see the layers of that star being expelled out into space and how much they have expanded out into space over a thousand years. Eventually they will dissipate out into space and the nebula itself will be gone. However, the material is now enriched in heavier elements formed during the star's life and then even more during the explosion during that immense release of energy. And those are being expelled out into space to become part of the interstellar medium that will form the seed material for new stars. So many of the elements in our own bodies were formed in things like this dispersed out into space and eventually became part of the cloud of gas and dust that formed our sun billions of years ago. So that was our picture of the day for January 15th of 2023. It was titled M1 the Crab Nebula from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon enhanced. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. 
and I will see you in class.